Hi, my name is Volker Deutsch and we focus in our research on the decisive difference between male and female. What is your research focus? We focus on our research on the famous family of tumor suppressor P53 and in particular on its siblings P63 and P73 and what role they play in stem cell maintenance and genetic quality control in germ cells. Next question. What methods and techniques do you use? We use a broad range of different methods and techniques. We use NMR spectroscopy, X-ray crystallography, cryo-OM to explore structures. We use in vitro biochemistry methods to investigate interactions. And we use cell culture as well as a mouse model to investigate what's the biological function is. What fascinates you about science? As scientists, we know there's a fascinating world out there of molecules and cells. And we want to go there and explore it and discover mechanisms that no one has ever seen before. What do you consider important when supervising PhD students? Well, let me answer this with an anecdote. A PhD student once came to a famous crystallographer and said, I want to do my PhD in your lab. This crystallographer asked, why? The PhD student said, well, I want to learn how to crystallize proteins. I want to learn how to solve the phase problem and to determine structures. The crystallographer looked at the PhD student and said, wrong answer. The student was obviously very shocked and said, why? The professor said, learning how to crystallize a protein and how to solve a structure is very, very important. But these are techniques and for this you can take a course to learn this. For a PhD, you should learn how to ask very important questions and how to find very important biological topics to focus on. And this, how to find these topics and how to ask these biological questions is also our focus in IMPRESS. What is your favorite place on campus? Well, it's a cafeteria because there I have the chance to meet other uh, researchers and um, have discussions. Only that? <laughs> and have a coffee. <laughs> what was your most exciting experiment? Well, one of the most exciting moments in science for me was when we saw for the first time an NMR spectrum of a protein inside living cells. We only did this experiment to convince ourselves that this would not work. And when it then really worked, we got very excited and it took us only four weeks from the first experiment to submit the paper. This was the first impression on the Dutch group and I hope to see you soon here.